pro at Los Salinas Country Club in Irving tried the tour for four and a half years before accepting the offer to settle down. Now Reeves McBee spends much of his time in the office instead of on the golf course, surrounded nonetheless by mementos of past accomplishments, such as his scorecard of the then record round of 64 he registered in the 1966 Open in San Francisco. As the club pro, he has more on his mind than just his game. For example, he's responsible for the merchandise in the shop, the accoutrements of the game, the slacks, shoes, shirts, gloves, and socks that make the hacker look like a golfer, even though he isn't one. The tools at the sport are also for sale, the woods and irons that some men use infinitely better than others. All of this merchandise belongs to McBee, and he must move it. Reeves and his three assistants are also responsible for the care of the carts, and in the basement workshop of five iron, bent to grotesque proportions by an angered golfer who tried to use it as an axe on a nearby oak, the five iron will be fixed, just another part of the job. So with all of that, there's not a lot of time for golf, but when there is, Reeves tries to approximate the conditions he'll find at the open, and that means the rough. In an abandoned part of the driving range, McBee will spend hours with the wedge, getting the ball out of the stuff into which he hopes he does not get next week. Reeves McBee qualified for the Open two weeks ago, grabbing the final one of seven spots available to golfers in this region. This will be his sixth appearance in the event, and he does not have a pie-in-the-sky attitude about his chances. Well, basically, I don't, I don't really enter any U.S. Open thinking that I've got a chance to win. I honestly believe that uh, under my circumstances, being a club professional, that that's a little bit uh, beyond the realm of reality. I think that I'd like to make the cut. I think I'm capable of making the cut. If I just play well enough, if I hit the, hit the ball well enough, I believe I can make the cut. Of course, your biggest goal in the Open is if you can finish in the top 16. That's back into the Open again. It's in the Masters the next year. And I think this would be one goal that I'd be shooting at in the Open if I could finish in the top 16. There are obviously so many disadvantages that you have as a club professional when opposed to the touring pros. Is there one single disadvantage that uh, most sticks out in your mind? Biggest disadvantage, I think, is touch and feel. I think that uh, these guys that are playing every day have the tremendous feel, the touch around the greens, uh, the feel for playing. Uh, I may play once or twice a week, and uh, in the meantime, I'm doing a lot of other things in between, such as book work and uh, giving lessons, uh, maybe out picking up range balls or something like that, and your hands have a tendency to puff up or something, and I don't have the feel, probably, that they'll have. Reeves is 37 now and quite content with the life he has chosen. And as he heads for Chicago on Monday, he does so secure in the knowledge that no matter how he plays, next weekend he'll be heading back to Irving, back to his wife Kay and their two daughters, back to Monday morning golf lessons at Las Colinas, back to bills and bags and warped irons that must be fixed. Reeves McBee, contestant, United States Open Golf Tournament 1975. He might shoot that 64 as he did once before, he might miss the cut, that's happened also. But regardless, he can hold his head high. Better than 4,500 golfers tried to qualify to play in the Open this year. Only 150 made the final field. And Reeves McBee, club pro, Irving, Texas, is one of them. One time, all right! How was that? Stay with us. 